Hi everyone, how are you doing today? Welcome once again to another episode of Monday Motivation with your girl Avanti. How was your weekend? I hope you went to church. You already know, I'm always going to ask you that question. I hope you went to church. I hope your week was great. I hope your weekend was absolutely fabulous. Mine was awesome as, as well and I give God all the glory for that. And today we'll be talking on something that everybody wants and everybody loves. It's everybody's desire, it's, it's everybody's goal, everybody wants to achieve it. And what is that? It is success. Yes, that's what we'll be talking about today. We'll be talking about success. So, what is success? Pretty much. Everybody wants to know what success is. You know, there's so many TED Talks about success. If you go to the dictionary, there's a whole bunch of meanings and definitions of what success is. What success is to one person most times varies and is different from what it means to somebody else. So I decided to throw in my own little definition of success from what I found in the scriptures. And what I, I feel like success means to me. And I want to share it with you today. But before I do that, I'm going to read a couple of definitions that I saw in the dictionary that I kind of thought were cool about success. So let me go ahead and read those to you. So success means achievement. It means accomplishment, victory, and triumph. The dictionary states that success is the achievement of something desired, planned, or attempted. The gaining of fame or prosperity, or the favorable prosperous termination of attempts and endeavors. So I, I kind of liked um, that definition of success. And you know, it's really cool. It talked about one of the things that it said success meant was fame and it meant prosperity. To almost everybody, success means prosperity. When you're doing really good, you have a lot of money, you know, people always generally, and you have a lot of possessions and stuff, people generally term that to mean success. But can I tell you what I think success is? Yeah, I'm gonna tell you what it is. But before I tell you, I'm gonna read the text scripture for today. That's like one of my favorite scriptures of all times. I have a bunch of them. But for a couple of months now, this one has been resonating so strong with my spirit. I'm going to read it in the Amplified Version and it says, The Lord was with Joseph and he, even though a slave, became a successful and prosperous man. And he was in the house of his master, the Egyptian. So what I liked there was, it says, even though he was a slave, he was a successful and prosperous man. And why is that? Because the Lord was with him. Glory to God, that just made me excited. So what am I saying? My definition of success is the Lord being with you, period. That's it. Success means the Lord being with you. So if you don't have the Lord with you, you might have all the money in the world, you might have all the fame, you might have all the doctorates or PhDs or academic um, accolades and stuff, but ultimately the Lord being with you is priority. It's number one to every other kind of success. So pretty much what I'm talking to you about today on Monday Motivation is I'm encouraging you. You might say, um, but I haven't gotten my degree yet. My question for you is this, is the Lord with you? You can say, oh, because to some people, marriage and children and a family is success, which is good success, especially when you have a good home. But another question I want to ask you is this, is the Lord with you? If you have all those things and the Lord is not with you, it will be a miserable, like miserable marriage, miserable family life. But once you have the Lord with you, it just makes everything perfect. So what am I saying? Success is the Lord being with you. That's my Monday motivation for you today. And there's a scripture that I love. And that scripture is in Ecclesiastes. It was talking about um, what success is. That's Ecclesiastes chapter 2, 
verse 26 and I love it in the New Living Translation and it reads God gives wisdom knowledge and joy to those who please him but if a sinner becomes wealthy God takes the wealth away and gives it to those who please him this too is meaningless it's chasing the wind my goodness so think about it you might look like right now you're not successful you know and you're comparing yourself with people you're seeing outside you know driving big cars living in mansions which is awesome by the way i'm not i'm not knocking that off that's great you know but god is saying that he has reserved all the wealth of those people for those who are his kids you know what i'm going to read it in the in the message translation because the message translation gives it a whole new meaning that i absolutely love it says god may give wisdom and knowledge and joy to his favorites but sinners are assigned a life of hard labor and end up turning their wages over to God's favorites, nothing but smoke and spitting in the wind. Woo! So once you have God with you, God calls you his favorite. And his, God is saying today that it doesn't matter what all those people have, it's like smoke. It could be gone in a second. Can you imagine that working so hard to achieve all these things? Working so hard, slaving. Because the scripture says in, um, in the King James Version of this particular verse, it says he has given them travail of soul. Like they're working hard. All for what? For nothing. Why? Because the Lord is not in their life. So I'm telling you today that once you have the Lord in your life, you have success and that's a guarantee like a pastor friend of mine always says i know it like i know my name you can take it to the bank there's another scripture i want to share with you just to kind of continue on on what we're saying already and that scripture is mark chapter 10 and i'm going to read a couple of verses right now i'm going to read in the king james version verse 21 and it says then jesus beholding him loved him and said one thing thou lackest, go thy way, sell whatever thou hast, and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasures in heaven, and come take up thy cross, and follow me. So let me give you the backstory. It was about a guy, you know, a wealthy young man who had a lot of possessions, and, you know, he had kept all the law, he had done everything, and he came to Jesus and was like, oh, master, I've done this, 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 I've kept up all the law. I've done everything. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I just caught a revelation right, right now. He said, I've kept all the law. I've done everything. But what do I lack? So that man, even though he was keeping all the law, you know, religiously, and he had all the possessions and he was doing everything, he knew he lacked something. He knew he lacked something and that's why he came to Jesus and Jesus looking at him saw his heart Jesus knew that oh this guy he's trying so hard to please me you know but he was missing one thing that's a personal relationship with Jesus Christ which he did not have so Jesus said yes you've done all these things but you lack one thing give away all the things you have and follow me and the Bible makes us understand in the next verse that the guy was so sad. I'm going to read it. And said, and he was sad at that saying and went away grieved for he had great possessions. So he was not ready to part with everything he had. But he forgot one thing. That parting with everything he had meant he lost nothing. Because gaining Jesus in his life meant he gained everything. And I'm going to go ahead and show you in the scripture because... Further down in the verses, Jesus said that. Because the disciples were like, okay, so who's going to make it? If this guy that kept the law and did everything couldn't make it, what is in it for us? So Jesus told them this. That's verse 27. Jesus looking upon them saying, with man it is impossible, but not with God. For with God all things are possible. Then Peter began to say unto him, lo, we have left all and followed thee. And Jesus answered and said, Verily I say unto you, that there is no man that had left house, or brethren, or sister, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or land, for my sake, and the gospels, 
but he shall receive a hundredfold now in this time houses and brethren and sister and mother and children and lands with persecution and in the world to come eternal life so even if that guy had done what jesus said and had left everything and followed jesus the guarantee was he would get everything back like remember what i said the beginning in the beginning of the conversation what success was success is having the lord in your life so it don't matter what you lose following christ you are gonna get many many more back and it doesn't matter what people have acquired outside of christ it's all gonna go poof like smoke in the air so don't be discouraged you know following christ and having a relationship with the lord jesus christ don't get discouraged thinking oh my life is moving too slow people are doing things the fast way and getting stuff what about me are you sure this is the right thing for me i guarantee you you don't want to be in their spot because when at the in the nick of time they're gonna lose everything and it's gonna come to those who love the lord and you know what god calls us god says his favorites he calls us his favorites so my power word for you today is don't be moved by what people outside in the world are getting and determined to be success because without god they're going to lose everything true success is having the lord in your life Woo! praise the lord man that has got me very happy and encouraged and i'm sure it did the same thing for you so definitely definitely Go ahead and share, share, share this video. And, you know, let it encourage somebody. Somebody out there might be wary or, you know, wavering in their faith. And this is just what they need to hear to put them back on track. So go ahead and share it. I love you guys. Go ahead and follow me on social media, Adavanti Uzo. And don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel, Adavanti Uzo TV. God bless you. Till I see you again next week, I love you. Keep winning. Bye for now.